I recently asked my followers of the Facebook page, Hello BRC, that which part of the speaking test they find most difficult, part one, part two, or part three. And most of them, I mean, many of you, in fact, reply, part three is the most difficult. So in this part three, examiners will really be able to test your ability. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you perform well on this part of the speaking test and provide meaningful extended answers that explicitly address the question, you will demonstrate a high band level. So I believe, uh, and it is my advice and recommendation to everyone, if you would like to get a high band score in speaking, particularly in that module, speaking module, then you need to focus on part two and part three. So, my dear language enthusiasts, welcome to this fascinating one-hour Facebook Live session in which we will explore deep into the art of acing the IELTS speaking part three. And I'm thrilled to be your guide on this linguistic adventure. So grab a comfy seat, get your favorite beverage, and let's dive right in. I must thank you, all of you, my fellow friends. Thank you very much for watching this live session. Uh, I see many of you have joined already. Rafael, Fatima, Shujon Paul. Shujon, you said hello. Hello, sir. I hope you are very well. Please give me some information. Yes, um, of course, we are going to discuss and we will delve deep into the speaking part, particularly not the reading part today. But someday we will do the reading part. So don't worry, my dear Shujon. So don't worry. Saifur Rahman, thank you. Neha, thank you very much. Uh, you are watching this. Um, would you please write uh, the name of the place from where we, you are watching this particular live session? So that um, actually we'd love to know that. And we, we will learn that from where you are watching, from which part of this world you are watching this session. Because it's not only uh, the people around me, not only in this country, but also Across the world, people are watching this. Many of you are watching this. Thank you. And for that particular reason, I mean, this is the main reason I try hard to make my uh, presentation, make my um, session effective and meaningful so that your time shouldn't be wasted. So... Sheikh Masood, thank you very much. Sadman Mahin, um, Rezwana Choudhury, Fabia Choudhury, um, Neha Paliwal. Thank you for watching this. Ali Tuhin, Hossein, Jawad Ahmed, Kamrul Hassan, um, Zubair Ahmed, Polak Tonmoy, and many of you. Arisha Jannat, Fa Tamanna, F A Tamanna. Torikul Islam, Jahid Raihan, Ekta Subedi, okay, Aisha Siddika, Ekta Subedi, you said, hello sir, your videos are helpful, thank you, thank you very much, it's my pleasure, and thank you for the appreciation, your appreciation uh, is kind of an encouragement for us, encouragement for me, um, Sheikh Masood Rana from Shunarga, Hasibul Hassan from Barisal, um, Sayyad Shakil Ali, thank you, Nahida Sharkar, thank you, Pulok Tonmoy from Silat, thank you very much for watching this, Ahmed bin Hassan from UAE, United Arab Emirates, thank you very much for watching from, um, particularly from abroad, from 
medalist, I would like you to share these videos with your friends and family members so that they also would be benefited by watching this. Uh, Jannat Firdos from Dhaka, Ekta from Nepal, awesome. I visited Nepal last year. It was an amazing tour. Thank you, Ekta Subedi. Uh, Arif Raj from Madaripur, Sabir from Chatpur. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, my dear friend. So, language enthusiast, thank you. Let's dive right in. And I'm thrilled to guide you on this adventure, linguistic adventure. So again, once again, congratulations to you, all of you who are preparing to take the IELTS speaking test. And particularly part three may appear to be a bit complicated, but don't worry. We are here to provide you with all the insider information and recommendations you need to shine brilliantly. Now, we are going to explore the intricacies, the complicacies, the complicated aspects of part three, where conversation transforms into a dynamic dance of future predictions, analysis, comparisons, opinions. It's all about taking your language skills up a notch while engaging in thoughtful discourse. Uh, so whether you are a future IELTS applicant or simply want to improve your language skills, you have come to the right place. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the enthralling world of the IELTS speaking part three preparation. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, my dear friends, thank you, Somel from Chattogram, Nadia, Trisha from Bhairav, awesome. Sabitri Chaudhary, I always watch your video, thank you, it's my pleasure, thank you very much, uh, uh, which, which really helps to improve my English skill. Uh, Sabitri, would you please write from where you were watching this? Sanjida from Salat, Shahin Ahmed, thank you very much. Jannatul Promi, thank you. From Belgium, wow, awesome, awesome. Um, Shahin Khan, thank you for watching this. Um, uh, 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 Rahman, um, Abu Sufyan, Fatima, uh, Jonaki Yasmin, Chweb Alom, thank you very much. Uh, Asifu Rahman, thank you. Tons of thanks to all of you. Trillions of thanks to all of you. Ashok Lamgard from Australia. Awesome. So, uh, Mr. Ashok, if you have any particular question, you also can ask me. I'm here to answer all of your um, questions, particularly for um, part three, uh, for the speaking test for this particular module, you can ask me. Uh, Mahabub Hassan said, um, Mahabub Hussain Prince said, thank you, sir, it's incredible. Thank you for your incredible comment. Um, and many of you, my dear friends, thank you. Let's uh, jump right in. Let's see what you are going to learn today. Yes, uh, IELTS speaking part three, particularly. Okay, there are, you know, as you know by this time, um, how many parts. There are three different parts in IELTS speaking. And we are going to uh, focus on the overview, um, the strategies, and uh, the questions at the end, uh, we will in fact upload a set of questions at the end of the session so that you can download that PDF after the live session. Okay, so let's see, you know, uh, about the part three and an overview, I should say. Let's see what is it, in fact. Um, as you know, the speaking task has three different parts. 
um, to it, part one, part two, and part three, namely, we'll be looking at specifically the speaking section of this test. Okay, part three. So first I will explain what happens in part three of the IELTS speaking test. Um, it's different from part two, of course. Uh, in, part two, in part two, a candidate is expected to speak uh, for about two minutes and there is no interruption. Okay. So, I guess uh, by this time you know this, that um, the overall duration of the speaking test is around 12 to 14 minutes. And for this part, um, you see it's only around five minutes, okay? So in part two, you talk about a specific event or an action, okay? For example, reading books in your leisure time. And then in part three, you have to expand on that topic. You have to extend your answer. Uh, and one of the questions can be, do you agree that books are better than films? So what do you think, my dear friends? Please write a little bit. Please write a little bit. Do you agree that books are better than films? Yes or no? Or your comment, please, in the comment box. Please write a bit. I'm really excited to see what you are writing. Please write what do you think about this. Do you agree that books are better than films? What do you think? So please write yes or no or whether you agree or not. Yes, Humayun Ahmed said yes. Khadija Tul Kubra Chaudhary is watching. Thank you very much for watching this. Please share this video with your friends and family members. Sheikh Masood Rana said, I agree with you. Awesome. Ikram Hawk said, you know, watching this and said yes. Uh, Obontika said yes. Awesome. Uh, would you disagree with this? You know, because it takes uh, almost a month to finish a book, but you can watch a film in three hours, I guess, or less. What do you think about this? What's your argument? Okay? If you would write, I would be happy to watch this. Um, I mean, to, to read your comment. Arif Raj, definitely. Um, yeah, I definitely agree. Tanzil said, I definitely agree. Hassan said, yes. So would you please write a bit, I mean, just uh, your comment, a little bit, I mean, just a few words, so that we'll come to know uh, the argument behind the reason of choosing reading books, you know, why books are better than films. Would you please write a few words? Awesome. Uh, Janna Tulferdo said, yes, books are better for improving imagination power. Wow. Imagination power of the children. Awesome. Imagination moves the world. Awesome. Yeah, you were true. Absolutely true. Janna Tulferdo's Rimjim. Thank you very much for your comment. Uh, Sheikh Masood Rana said, because we learn more about a specific topic uh, from books, but uh, we can't learn properly from films. Yeah, in one sense that's true. Uh, yep, yep. But you see, nowadays people consume a lot of videos on YouTube, so... Why people watch YouTube videos? What do you think about it? Rajesh Borua said, films or movies are some um, fixed scenes, but books help us to imagine the plot. Fantastic. Incredible. Incredible. We can actually feel like 
uh, we are in that event, in that time, in that place. Awesome. And you can think from your perspective, not the uh, director's perspective, from your own perspective. Um, Vith OK said, can you tell us how to get a good band in IELTS? Uh, that's a broad question, my dear friend Vith. I guess if you would ask me a specific question, because we are discussing a very specific topic today, not the speaking overall, rather part three particularly. So, you know, uh, th this is, in fact, you can say my style. I never focus on the broad thing. I focus on a particular thing so that we can learn more on this. Because if you concentrate on a very, um, I mean, a tiny area, uh, and then you try to explore, you try to discover things, um, you, you, you delve, dive, uh, you, you, you um, deep, go deep inside that. So you have the opportunity to learn more. So that is my style and that is my philosophy. So this is how I, I live in. This is how I move. This is how I do my everyday work. I try to focus on a tiny thing and then I work and work and work hard on that. I try to read a lot of books. I try to do a lot of research. Uh, because if I give you an answer um, of that broad um, topic or a subject, the answer won't help you out in any way. Okay, so my dear friends, uh, yes, in part three, you might be asked five or six questions. That is um, obvious, which means you have to talk for around one minute per question, which is not an easy job, okay? Because, that is the insight, because, you know, in the part one, the questions, the questions that would be asked to you, you can answer in like two, three sentences. You might have, you might spend around 20 seconds or maybe 30 seconds each. But in this case, I mean, yes, particularly for, for um, par part three, excuse me, would you mind to drink a glass of water? Yes. Uh, for this part, particularly, I would say, uh, you need to extend it because there would be like five, six questions and like five, six minutes. So each question, one minute, uh, which is not an easy task. And the questions would be complicated. I mean, argumentative questions, um, like critical reasoning questions, okay? So you are going to give uh, a very long responses here um, possibly up to a minute. Uh, so you need to build your replies in part three. Um, so it's extremely important and a very simple way to do it um, is, is to express your perspective, your opinion. Uh, you need to give examples. You need to give reasons. So... I have actually mentioned these things that the questions would be complicated and uh, are related to part two. Yes, in part three of the IELTS speaking test, the dynamics shift from part two. Unlike the uninterrupted two minute, uh, what should I say, monologue, yes, because no one is going to interrupt you and then you have to talk and talk, um, no interruption in, uh, in part two. But in part three, uh, uh, that engages you in a dialogue with the um, examiner, in a, in, a, in a discussion with an examiner. Uh, and this phase dives deeper into the theme 
you explored in part two. Yes. The examiner's questions will lead the conversation, prompting you to um, explaining things, to explain, to elaborate on your previous topic. I mean, the topics that are given in part two. So there's a relation between part two and part three. Uh, try to remember that particular point. So the question can be, for instance, um, what jobs do you think are most valuable in society? Okay, so if your part two was about your dream job or the job you want to do in future, okay, part three might explore broader career trends or employment challenges, okay? So part three questions can be, what jobs do you think are most valuable to society? So I, I just would like to see what you're going to write uh, to this question. I mean, I just like to see your answer to this question. What do you think? What jobs do you think are most valuable to society? What do you think? Would you please write? Please talk to me. I mean, please write. Um, interact with me. The more you talk to me, I mean, the more you interact with me, um, the better the chance to learn. So we'll learn more. Okay. Uh, Nauria Jannat says, I recall that teaching profession is a most or is the most, is the most valuable in our society. And there are many reasons. Okay. So you need an S after the reason. And you need to use uh, the article the definite article before the word most. But again, thank you very much for uh, writing your precious comment. Thank you very much, Nauria Jannat. Awesome. Uh, engineer SK Abit said, engineering job. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Uh, Fabia Chaudhary said, Teaching is the greatest profession in my point of view because it ensures, it's ensure, I would say rather you write, it ensures, it ensures um, a decent social status. Okay, okay, awesome. Uh, Jannatul Ferdo said, teaching, nursing, or I, sh I should say, if you write the nouns, write teachers or teacher, doctor, scientists, uh, someone write public health officer, Shudhi Bhattacharya write public health officer. Yep, cool. Health services, Umaira Hafiz. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Yep. So this is how I, of, I also learn from you, in fact. Of course, it's a learning process for both of us. Y you learn from this session, and I also learn from you. Yep, it's a two-way process. And I'm happy to, lear happy to learn from you, in fact. As my opinion, I think, I would rather say you write, in my opinion, it can be a doctor. Okay, cool, awesome, fantastic. Yep, Jabir Ahmed, it's totally my personal opinion. I think teaching profession is the valuable, valuable what? Profession, okay, valuable profession in society, in a or in our society. Um, it is a one kind, 
it is of attractive progression. Okay. Uh, Nazmul Kabir, what was your Uh, I think sales or marketing, you said, Nazmul Kobi said, I think sales or marketing is the most, the most, don't forget to use the definite article, the most valuable, valuable what? You need a noun, valuable is, a, is, is an adjective, so valuable profession or whatsoever for our society. Fantastic, awesome, cool. Teachers and doctors are the backbone of a modern society. Okay, you need the article the. Um, teachers can definitely make the world a better place by sharing knowledge. Yes, thank you. Awesome. Afrin Orin. Cool. Awesome. Yep. Uh, again, you might have more difficult questions, more complicated questions like, what is the difference between white collar and blue collar jobs? White collar and blue collar jobs. So in this section, you might have like, you might get some complicated questions, so you should get ready for that. Yes, let's jump into the next slide. Okay, let's see some other um, examples. In, in your part two, uh, basically it is about describing a book. If it is describing a book that had a major influence on you, yep. Uh, part three might explore your perspective on reading books. Okay, so it becomes very complicated. Yes, and if you can answer properly, if you can extend it to a minute, then in fact, uh, with your linguistic prowess, with your um, ability, with your skills, with your um, grammar and lexical uh, resources, if you can uh, enrich your answer, within a minute, of course, you're going to get a high band score in IELTS, um, in, in, in the speaking module. Um, so let's see um, an example. You see an example is written here on the, on the screen. Examiner might ask you to compare between reading books and other leisure interests, watching films. Um, so a question can be, do you agree that uh, books are better than films? Yes, we, we have. Uh, already learned that area. The examiner's questions will lead the conversation, prompting you to elaborate on a previous topic. So, so my dear friends, what would be the strategies? Okay, let's see how we are going to tackle this part. How, in fact, since it's very complicated, how we're going to answer, how we're going to respond in this particular uh, part. Part three. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, yes. Consider this scenario. A dynamic shift from part two to part three. A dynamic shift. Okay. So if your part two discussion revolve around technological advancement, if it is about the technological adva advancement in part two, uh, part three might steer into the realm of their societal impact. So you talk about the technological advancement in, um, or maybe about a device um, in part two. So in part three, you might have a question on the societal impact of, uh, of the technological advancement. Or a question more, I should say, uh, a more, more complicated question, I would say, in part three. So you need to embrace this continuation, of course, um, and expand your discourse naturally. Okay. Cool. Wow. 
I love that image. What an image. Okay. So, uh, what do we have to do? We have to be willing to extend our answer. You need to be willing to extend. You need to be willing to expand your answer. And it's important to show the examiner that you are willing to discuss the topic. So preparing for the interview by studying a um, number of topic areas uh, would be very helpful. However, most topics are, a, are of a general nature. Yes, not very complicated. They would be in general nature and will suit all test taker levels. So don't worry. Extend your responses, of course. And I would rather say embrace this opportunity. This is an opportunity to show your skills, okay? Uh, to elaborate, to uh, share your insights and express your thoughts in details. Uh, so instead of giving a one-liner answer or yes-no answer, which is obviously... Um, would uh, downgrade your level. You shouldn't do that. Um, you expand your ideas, drawing from your personal experiences or general knowledge. For instance, you can say, uh, I mean, when discussing the effects of technology or um, particularly on communication, you can say, um, um, I mean, you can think about beyond the level, beyond the surface. You can think about what would be in the future. You can consider the past. You can uh, compare between two things. Okay? Yes. Cool. So these are the steps that you can consider. You can uh, think about um, the importance of something. You can think about the idea, the 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 significance of the idea, and then you can start considering the past and the present, okay? You can, it's, it's like back and forth, going back, I mean, to the past and thinking about the future, okay? The compare and contrast. You can give examples, okay? To um, support your opinion, support your perspective, you also can give um, reasons, okay? So let's see. Uh, you might have a question, how would I do that? Yes, I'm here to answer that. Don't worry. So these are, I would rather say, um, what, are we, what we're going to do, in fact, we will use um, the speech functions, okay? So I'm going to elaborate this particular um, area. So... Now the question is how to assess and how to evaluate the importance, the significance of the question, the, the keyword of, or, or the keywords uh, of the question, okay? Uh, for example, if the question is, is family important in your country, okay? Then what do we have to do? We have to concentrate uh, the keywords we have to concentrate whether uh, the the weightage of the topic, the weightage of the importance of the family, uh, and we have to think about uh, why is family so important? Why do some people think about it? What is the you know, the public notion, okay? Then you can start considering, I think this is true because you can say um, this is down to the fact that you can say the reason I think um, so, this and that, okay? You also can uh, consider, I mean, evaluating this. You can say, I think this is hugely important. Yeah, you can say, I think this is extremely useful, uh, so these are the 
points if you start thinking in the beginning that uh, you know the general statement like what do you think in general that is going to be your general statement so you start with the general statement you can consider the trend you can consider the public notion uh, and you can consider um, what do uh, you think I mean what's your opinion okay you can start saying well people in my country believe that family comes first people in my country believe that family comes first so what happens here you start considering the public notion okay the general statement that's your general statement and I think that is not very difficult to consider difficult to think what do you think my dear friends it's not very difficult don't worry it's not that difficult you start with considering the general statement if the question is is family important in your country so what is the public notion how people think in your country how people think in your country you start saying well people in my country believe that family comes first okay and what then you can say and they um, they put their family ahead of anything else okay they would do anything for their family the family members yes so that's just the public notion okay the the basic idea so we start with the basic idea the trend and then you give your opinion what do you think you can say I'm proud that family bonding in my country is quite strong okay you can say I'm proud that I'm proud of it that family bonding in my country is very strong and they are committed to each other and we have a high commitment to our family members you can start saying that so that is not very difficult my dear friends so you see you are going to develop your answer yes although it's very complicated but you can develop in this way what do you think is it very difficult my dear friends it's not that difficult it's easy okay so so my dear friends I need your opinion do you think money is always the most important thing when choosing a job yes if this is your question in part three what is your answer please please write I'd like to see your answers I know it's going to be very exciting and I know there is uh, controversy many of you would write yes many would say no let's see and then you can also write few words behind your reasoning please write what do you think about this what do you think do you think money is always the most important thing when choosing a job or what Tahmina Rahman Sumaya Akhtar Sattar Akhtar Farzana um, Soberin Ahmed Meghla Aisha Tamanna Naim Hassan many of you have joined already please share this video with your friends and family members so that they can be also benefited by watching this it's not only for the IELTS candidate but also it's for you in fact you know if anyone is going to ask you this simple questions it seems simple but it's not a very simple question it is a bit complicated so how you're going to answer and how you're going to speak for a minute so that is not easy my dear friends so whether you are a candidate or just a learner this is the right place for you so do not ignore this try to learn this try to interact with me and learn step by step Amin said no money no gain no pain no gain and uh, Mahia Akhtar said absolutely no okay awesome I respect that Sheikh Masood Rana said absolutely no 
I respect your opinion. It, it is an argumentative question, so you need to develop your argument in this part. Yes, as my opinion, or I would rather say in my opinion, uh, in my opinion, I need to focus on the job satisfaction. Sheikh Masudrana. Thank you very much, Sheikh Masudrana. Congratulations to you. Uh, because you are writing and you are interacting and you are talking with me. Yes, Dilan. Priyadarshana, you said, uh, no, I think salary is one factor only. I think the most important thing, uh, thing, T-H-I-N-G, thing is job satisfaction. You need uh, a, a verb, auxiliary verb, is M-E-S-R. So you should write, it's okay, you, you, have, you have written that. Thank you very much, first of all. First of all, I would like to thank you, Dipon. Um, so you can write, I think the most important thing is, or the most important aspect is the job satisfaction. Yes. Farida Yasmin said, satisfactory salary is the first priority for the missing four, for choosing a job for selecting a job for so you need a preposition or some thank you Farida Yasmin once again you see you're writing and making mistakes and you're learning yeah and um, it's not only you but many of us many of you are learning from these mistakes so thank you I would like to congratulate you, in fact, who are participating here with me. Thank you very much. Uh, engineer SK Abit said, nowadays choosing a job is not always, is not always. Uh, choosing a job does not depend on money. It also depends. No, it depends because it and you have a verb, depends. So it depends. Not it is, also depends. It depends. Subject, verb, agreement. But awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, depends on gathering experiences. Thank you. So Maya Hafiz said, in my opinion, no, in my opinion, uh, preposition missing. In my opinion, um, because today's world, in today's world, Everything is possible. Okay, okay. Thank you, Sabitri Chaudhary. Definitely, yes. Uh, experience is important. Okay. Uh, Jabir, if you survive yourself, yourself, okay, you have to show the money site. Okay, rewrite this sentence. No problem. Thank you very much, Jabir Ahmed. Thank you very much. Uh, Sheikh Masudana, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Actually, I like you... Okay, you like my videos, of course. Thank you. I appreciate that. Jannat uh, Lamia. I believe that some people choose a job for satisfaction. A job, choose jobs, I would say. They consider the jobs, particular jobs for um, satisfaction. Okay, okay. Fantastic, fantastic. Sabir Hamid. I think most of the people are looking for... Uh, you need, uh, you need an auxiliary, are looking for or look for to get money. Okay. Uh, Biplob, he said, yes, of course, almost always money is the most important things. Okay, because without money, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fantastic. Uh, for a luxurious life. Luxury life. Um, okay, cool, cool. Thank you, my dear friends. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so uh, if this is your uh, question, uh, you can start saying, like, the questions are like, do you think, do you agree? This might be the questions, okay? Uh, is it a good idea? Uh, do you think this and that? You see, the question starts with, do you think 
So the question can be, do you agree? The question can be, it is a good, is it a good idea? Okay? The question can be, question can start with these phrases. Okay, so how you're going to answer? You can say, um, you can start with giving your opinion. You can say, yes, I think this is uh, hugely important. Money is very important. Or you can say, no, I don't really think that. So, uh, my dear friends, you have written already. You can check this one, check this particular answer. No, I don't really think that. Okay, no, I don't really think that money is always the most important thing when choosing a job. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, you can say, based on my experiences, I consider this and that. I consider money is always or is not always the most important thing. You can say, I think this is extremely useful. You can say, I think this is hugely important or whatsoever. This is how you can start with these phrases. Cool. Yes. Uh, but here, the word always is the key word. Remember. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> And then what do you have to do? You have to give reason. This is just an opinion, okay? You see, we are um, extending our answers. We are extending our answers by giving a general statement, first of all. And then we try to give our opinion. We try to explore the significance of the keywords of the topic, of the question, we try to find the importance of that. We try to explore the significant area of the question, of that particular question. And we try to give, um, you know, our opinion in different ways. You see, you have, we have already learned that. And uh, what do we have to do? We have to show reasons. This is the area we can say critical reasoning. Okay, you give your reason many different ways. Yeah, uh, the more you give reasons, it shows that you can think critically. Yep, so you can say it is because or the main reason is, you know, if you consider the job satisfaction first, so what is the reason or what are the reasons? The main reason is, you can say it is because this and that. There are a number of reasons, okay? Firstly this, secondly that, okay? Um, you can say one cause could be uh, because uh, uh, people uh, consider job satisfaction first. One cause could be this and that. Yep, cool. Um, you can say reason one. I mean, you can say primarily because this, besides that, besides, it means you are giving another reason, okay? You can say this is mainly because regardless of how much money we actually have, it doesn't always buy happiness or work contentment. Yeah, we are learning a lot. So let's see now. Give reasons. And you see there is a reason. Cool. Awesome, awesome, my dear. Awesome friends. Thank you for joining me. Please share this video with your friends, this live session particularly with your friends. So you see, your answers are here. How are you are going to answer? You see, it's here. Reason one, primarily because regardless of how much money we actually have, it doesn't always buy happiness or work contentment, okay? Contentment means like happiness again. Work contentment means work happiness, satisfaction. Cool. Yeah. That's reason number one. So what's going to be reason number two? 
Reason number two. Besides, if a job doesn't offer the opportunity for growth, money matter would probably be irrelevant at certain points also. Okay? Cool. Awesome. I love this. So what do you think about it? Until now, my dear friends, you see, we have actually, this is a packed of, this live session is a packed of information, is a packed of learning, uh, lots of, you know, things that we have learned by this time. So what do you think, my dear friends? Is this helpful, this live session? Um, yes or no, please write. I just would like to see uh, how you consider my live sessions. What do you think about it? Uh, on the basis of your comments, we will try to um, explore new things in the future. We will try to add more values in the future. Because you watch this, because you encourage us, um, I really feel excited about this. And uh, you see, we are um, growing um, on, on the because of your you know commitment of your support. Um, we have recently reached the 800k followers. Thank you, my dear friends. You are awesome. Uh, yes, of course. And um, recently we have reached uh, last month. Basically, we reached uh, the 100k. Um, uh, YouTube subscribers and uh, I mean yesterday I see it's around uh, 160k um, uh, subscribers on our YouTube channel it's because of you thank you very much thanks a lot my dear friends yes it's you so what do you think about my uh, uh, live session my uh, uh, what should I say presentation so on the basis of this we would like to um, add more values uh, for you in fact uh, we, we would like you to learn at home because um, nowadays you see um, many YouTube teachers, many YouTube professors, many uh, Google professors. Uh, so it is difficult to identify who is the best. It is difficult to identify what is the authentic, uh, uh, the, the nature of of the lecture, the nature of the resources is, is very difficult to identify. It's very difficult to segregate. Um, so uh, I must thank you that you have chosen us. You have chosen our um, Facebook page, Hello BARC, um, uh, facebook.com slash Hello BARC. You have chosen our YouTube, uh, uh, Hello, uh, BRC TV uh, YouTube channel. So, of course, I would like to thank you. Yes. Um, so, we need your um, comments, your precious comments, your opinions, your recommendations on the basis of this. Um, in the future, we will um, would like to uh, cater accordingly. Okay? What you love to learn. Uh, what's your like um, demand if you have any particular thing that you would like to learn in the future um, so we can present something different in the future for your learning. Thank you. Yes. Uh, yes. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Mahabub Hussain Prince, apart from uh, part one and part th two section I have, sorry, I have had the only problem in section three. But after flicking through your today's lesson, hopefully I'll do better. Inshallah. Thank you. Yep. I hope so. Uh, uh, Shihabuddin and many more. Thank you, Mahabub Hussein Prince. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I mean, this presentation is very informative. Yes, uh, uh, there are other slides as well. There are like five, six slides. Uh, so just stay back, stay calm, stay tuned. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you, my dear friends. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Of course, I'm going to read all of your comments at the end of the session. Don't worry. No one would be left behind. So, um, so you see, th this is a um, typical style of developing your part three answers, part three 
responses. Um, so you see, you can start with reason one, reason two. You can start with primarily because of this and that. You can say the main reason is this and that. Uh, besides this and that, okay? So, um, of course, um, in your leisure time, you can repeat this video and watch again for learning, okay? Cool. Okay. So, we have learned how to give reasons, how to think about reasons, how to develop reasons. Now, we learn how to write examples, how to you know, first of all, you can take notes. So I see how to write, uh, how to think uh, examples um, in your response. <coughs> uh, you can say the question can be, uh, the question is, if the question is, should athletes be better role models? Yes. Uh, the question, if the question is, should athletes be better role models? Yes or no? What do you think? Are they better role models? I mean, athletes, I mean, sportsmen, okay? What do you think? Athletes or sportsmen, are they um, better role models? Can we follow them? Okay, what do you think? Okay, yes. Biplop, thank you. Mr. Biplop, you said yes. Okay, no problem. Yep, yep, cool. So, you need to give examples. If you say yes, and then you need to say, uh, what should I say? You say, I believe most fans start adoring an athlete, okay, or a sports sportsman due to the spectacular performance he or she shows so that's your general statement or the the significant significant area okay the the specific point the idea that you want to showcase that you want to say that you want to um, i mean share okay so you start with i believe most fans start adoring an athlete or a sportsman due to the spectacular performance he or she shows you start with this okay and then you give an example you see thus football magicians like cristiano ronaldo or lionel messi or someone would say why not mbappe okay no problem someone would say why not neymar okay uh, have several million fans and many of them started idealizing them without knowing them personally. Yes, without knowing them personally, you follow them. You become fans and there are millions, several millions of fans. Yes, cool. Yes, um, Shanti Azad, you said, yes, because they are hardworking and dedicated to their goals, to their goals. So it should be plural, but again, fantastic. Um, thank you very much. And I would like to um, give you a thumbs up for writing this. You see, uh, Mahi Akhtar, you said no idea now see you have got an idea like how to give examples so you start writing the statement the basic statement i believe you know what you believe you write it and then you write uh, uh you, you give an example like this and that that particular thing if it is about the tourist place you can say cox's bazaar or any uh, i mean it can be shundarban or whatsoever <coughs> So we start with a general statement. He said, I believe most fans start adoring an athlete, blah, blah, blah. And then you can say, does he or she, uh, Ronaldo or Lionel Messi, whoever, have several million fans and many of them started idolizing them without knowing them personally. Cool. Okay. So now we see how to develop 
your answer how to develop step by step and if you follow this step you know it's not just like 30 seconds or one minute you can discuss for a like for like two three minutes even more than that yes yes of course one thing that is very important okay what is that the linguistic aspect that i mentioned in the beginning of the uh, of this presentation of this session linguistic prowess in the conversational context okay it's not about that you are giving a lecture okay it's not about lecture it is uh, you know it's it is actually kind of an interview it's kind of an kind of a conversational way dialogues okay uh, part three is a chance to demonstrate your linguistic ability linguistic prowess in a conversational context and you have a two-way discussion with the examiner though you will still be expected to do most of the talking just authentic interaction that highlights your language skills yes of course okay so what are the language skills so consider the linking words okay so of course you need to use um, words linking words and phrases to connect ideas okay uh, but again depending on what you are asked and um, the following linking words and phrases can be used i'm going to share this okay so in terms of um, you saw in a different context for example ordering information or sequencing information or adding information or giving examples or giving reasons um, comparing and contrasting and uh, generalizing um, for example in the beginning you can uh, generalize the topic generalize the question and then you can start developing okay so in terms of uh, sequencing or ordering information you can use like firstly secondly um, to begin with you can say moving on to the next um, or you can say thirdly or you can say subsequently consequently yeah after these finally these are the things that you can use uh, i know uh, you are taking notes if not no problem if you are not taking any notes of this um, no problem we can share this uh, with you um, in a pdf version uh, at the end of the session not today uh, it would be difficult because it's already like uh, um, 9 15 so what i'm going to do tomorrow day after i mean particularly day after tomorrow um, i will upload a pdf on our um, youtube channel as well as on the facebook page so that you can um, find the questions yes area of questions i'm going to upload and i'm going to upload um, a few things like um, the the uh, linking words particularly i'm going to share the linking words uh, and the questions um, around like um, 35 to 40 questions so that you can study on them yes okay so for adding information you can say additionally besides um, and also you can say another good example of this and that you can say another reason for this and that yep uh, for um, indicating opinion you can say uh, to be honest definitely essentially frankly basically you can say indeed and as a matter of fact you can use them uh, for um, comparing you can say equally you can say similarly uh, you can say um, however although instead of this and that despite this and that okay uh, on one hand on the other hand you can use them uh, for giving example you can say for, for example for instance okay a great example um, of this is okay okay we're almost at the end of the session so my dear friends keep watching this 
So what do we have to do? We have to use a wide range of grammar. The topic is very wide. So in a different session, I would discuss this uh, particular issue because if I start like talking on grammar, um, I, I can discuss uh, more than like five, six hours on this particular thing. So someday in a different live session, I'll discuss this uh, particular thing. Um, I mean, how to use a wider range of grammar, but don't worry, I'll just give you the gist. Uh, uh, for example, if it is describing the festival in your country, then you need to consider the present scenario, the uh, festivals in your country, the culture in your country, uh, and then you need to consider the changes, the trends, the development. I mean, how was... Um, the festival uh, festival or fe how were the festivals um, like 50 years back or 20 years back so you you need to know this you need to know the differences you need to use the past tense and then you need to use the present tense and then if you if you consider to develop that and if you would like to speculate okay um, a futuristic um, thinking that you you can, consider the um, models, you can consider the um, future tense, uh, um, you can use the conditionals, um, yes. And you also can uh, consider like uh, for suggesting solution, you can, you can use the model verb, so model auxiliary is one thing that we need to learn. Uh, for comparing and contrasting uh, we need to understand the comparative structures like we studied degrees, okay? So we will discuss this particular thing some other day. Don't worry, okay? But this is a friendly, friendly interview. So don't worry, it's kind of a friendly interview. So in part three of the IELTS, it's more like an interview, yes, uh, where you have the chance to discuss, okay? Where the examiner would uh, interact, but you were expected to talk, I mean, most of the time, yes. The examiner asks you some sort of questions. Um, you respond, yes. Uh, they ask you another question, or they might ask you to go uh, deeper into the first question. So... Think of it as a friendly interview, of course, uh, where the examiner guides the conversation. Yes, examiner, in fact, will lead to the discussion. So don't worry. Uh, it's all about like showcasing your ability to chat, to discuss fluently and naturally. <clears throat> okay. Um, part three example questions. I told you, my dear friends, um, I'm going to share... Uh, the questions, but the questions are, in fact, uh, this type, like predicting, um, like um, analyzing, okay? Sometimes they will ask you uh, to predict something, uh, to analyze something, to compare. Um, so they might ask you to give your opinion. Um, oftentimes, you are looking at the future as well, okay? I guess uh, they don't this particular thing won't be difficult for you uh, as I'm going to share uh, a set of questions very soon. So I'm going to recap. Don't worry. So what we have learned today, in fact, part two, if the question is um, your favorite book, part three would be discuss the literature's or, or the, you know, literature's impact on culture. Okay? So in part three, in part two, particularly, you are given something to describe often. It might be a historical building. It might be a teacher you really liked. It might be an object precious to you. Uh, imagine you talked about your favorite book in part two. And in part three, the examiner might shift gears and discuss literature impact on culture. So it's like zooming out, um, yes, zooming out to explore the bigger picture, connecting your topic to the world around it. Okay? 
So, like, deep questions. Yeah. So it's basically part three challenges your ability to think critically and discuss more abstract ideas. So in part three, um, it's basically, you know, you need to think critically and uh, you need to show your ability that you can discuss uh, more abstract ideas. Okay, the examiner guides the dialogue, delving into the theme from part two. I told you in the beginning that there is a there is a connection between the part two and the part three. So part three is basically the extended area. Okay, uh, with uh, questions that prompt analysis, comparison, prediction, and even your personal take your perspective, your opinion. Okay, so yes. Yeah. So my dear friends, we're almost at the end. Do you have any question? Thank you, thank you. My awesome friends. Khan Naim, you said, um, how can I improve my speaking level? You see, this was, the session was very intensive. And we have learned a lot. So, if you have a question that, how can I improve? I would rather say, please, watch this video because you asked this question at the end of the session. So watch this vi video when we are done, when we're going to finish. So you have the chance, because we are going to upload this, you have the chance to um, like watch it again at your uh, ease, at your convenient time. Watch it again. This is how you learn. You know, this is the learning process. Sometimes you need to read, sometimes you need to listen, sometimes you need to learn from um, an expert. Yes, um, so this is a process. Uh, thank you, my dear friends. Um, it's an awesome uh, session with you be because you have interacted with me. I would like to thank you, okay? for becoming a part of this. Yeah. So I know you have, you still have some questions. So no worry, I'm here. Um, I, I will in fact start reading them, the comments, and I will try to reply uh, you back very soon. Don't worry. And I will keep your advice, your recommendation, your suggestion in my mind and we'll try our best to present in the future a better version. Thank you very much and good luck to you.